Okay, so I had a, a bunch of people asking me, how do you change the pitch on a Syrotone? And it's very simple. So we got the speakers hooked up right there, connected to two of the amplifiers. And the way you change the pitch is with this little potentiometer. That is R102 on the Syrotone control module. You can probably see the number in there, yep, R102. And it is called the frequency potentiometer. And what it does is set the upper limit of the voltage controlled oscillator and doesn't allow it to go past this threshold. And what that allows you to do is of course change the pitch and then it will adjust everything accordingly whether you're running a whale signal or not. It's very cool. So I'm gonna show you how that works and we might be able to show you a weird little quirk with this and why you're not really supposed to change the pitch on these because whale signals get a little sketchy at times. So let's go ahead and run through a signal. We'll start steady. Now we're gonna mess with the pitch. We'll turn it down. Turn it up. That's as high as it'll go. Now let's turn it down a little bit. Run whale. It might not do it. Turn this one down. There it goes. There it goes. Turn that down again. <laughs> so let's turn that back up to where it's supposed to be. This is roughly right there. Dial that back just a little bit. I'm going to have to recalibrate this, no doubt. go the other way. So about right there. Close enough. And that's how you change the pitch of the Syrotone. Now this other little potentiometer that I was messing with here, that is called the frequency cutoff potentiometer. And the way that this board works is that there's a little circuit in there that's essentially just called the frequency cutoff circuit. And what it does is that it's responsible for telling the controller essentially when to stop outputting a siren signal. So if the frequency dips below that threshold, all signal output stops from the controller and you actually heard it, there was a very faint noise, and that was actually still coming from the tone generators, but everything else had essentially stopped working. The preamp, everything was dead. Until the threshold rose above the frequency cutoff, and then the controller turned back on. So the reason you're not supposed to, you're really not supposed to mess with the pitch on this is because of that reason. Because if you run whale, and the frequency cutoff is not set just right, then you're going to run into that issue where the controller is going to stop temporarily, and then it'll cut back on, back on the windup. So, that's essentially it. 
Good old Syratone putting in the work today. All right. <laughs>